Hey, so right now as we are vlogging this, I just had Buffet Town last night. Um, sorry, last afternoon. So when I was there at the buffet, I had this perfect idea on a video topic and it's basically three cheap brands that you can utilize uh, when it comes to purchasing your stylish summer outfits. Let's go. Okay, I walked out of frame, sorry. So number one, it's Uniqlo. When it comes to your basics, like your t-shirts and shirts, Uniqlo has a lot of options that caters to that. But do take note, the colors that they have are limited, but they have very, very good quality at a very, very cheap price. I'm talking about 100% cotton. And some of these t-shirts have special alternatives. They have brand, they have uh, models that are made just for summer, like their AirSim. Uh, model these things are very very thin then they are also they also they're also made up of 100% cotton and they allow for uh, breathability around allowing you to stay cool and a warm summer weather like what we have in Singapore it's always like 32 degrees 35 degrees it never goes down a uh, winter in Singapore winter I quote is probably about 28 at best. So here's one of the pieces from Uniqlo that I have. It's a v-neck t-shirt. Um, I use this for a lot of my outfits and I find that the t-shirts that they have in Uniqlo makes a perfect base layer for all my outfits. I can basically just put this on, put this on and layer it with a leather jacket, a sweater, a cardigan, a bomber jacket, a denim jacket, even a blazer as well. And I'm going to get a lot of stylish options out of it. If you check out Uniqlo again, you're going to see a couple of special items that they have. Recently, they've been going for uh, this out, this sorry, this apparel known as uh, cashmere sweaters. As I was saying, um, the cash, cashmere is very expensive usually, but Uniqlo sells them for really, really cheap. You can go check them out. I'll probably post some pictures of how the cashmere sweaters look like right now so if if you're really into the whole preppy look this year you can check out these cashmere sweaters layer it with your shirts you can wear it as a base layer as well do take note they're really really warm so only wear them at a cool weather last but not least from uniqlo we also have shirts as well and these shirts come in a variety of them the ones that i have are the broad cloth uh, versions of their shirts. Um, they also have button-down shirts, Oxford shirts, and these are the kind of shirts that you basically wear to the office or you can even use them as a casual piece. Now it really really depends on what you like and there's a lot of different designs. See them for yourself. You can check out the Uniqlo online store before you head down to your local Uniqlo store. If you checked out my previous video linked in the description, uh, that, vid that video, I was wearing a green gingham button-down shirt from Uniqlo. If you notice, the material is awesome. It's also made from 100% cotton, like the yeah, t-shirts, and that makes it very breathable for summer use. Next up, we have Zara. So when it comes to Zara, their brand is designed with the runway-inspired outfits. That being said, um, their outfits are usually designed with minimalism in mind and it makes it perfect for versatile outfit pieces. Personally for me, I recommend their jackets. The jackets from Zara are really really good in design. I'll bite that their materials aren't of high quality but honestly at this budget range that we're looking for, this is the best thing you can get. Um, it's really, really stylish. Check their websites out. Let me show you a couple of pictures. Check out their pleather jackets. I find that their pleather jackets are very, very unique in terms of uh, the runway-inspired designs. Um, you want If you want to get a leather jacket, it's going to cost you about $300. Although this d defer depends on uh, which country you are in. But essentially, if you want to get a real leather jacket, it's going to cost you a lot. And Zara has the pleather option. And at the same time, it's also very, very well designed. If you take care of it properly, you shouldn't, or rather you should not see any issues with it. So to summarize what I just said just now, the thing about Zara is always get their jackets. This is my personal recommendation. I love their jackets. The base layers 
not so much. I find them a bit pricey. You can always get something similar from Uniqlo and just layer with their jackets. Their jackets are awesome. Some of the jackets that you can take note, their bomber jackets, their leather ja pleather jackets, their denim jackets, and their Harrington jackets as well. They even have blazers that are going for really, really cheap. I'm talking about $70 for a blazer that's made from half cotton and half polyester, which is the perfect blend for cheap, and durable blazers. Last but not least is their two-piece suits. Personally, I've never uh, purchased any suits from Zara before, but I've seen outfits uh, online and a couple of YouTubers purchasing from them and they give them a very, very strong recommendation. Now, how do we know whether we can actually rely on these um, brands without having seen the, brand, seeing the outfit pieces in person? One way is to actually just check out fashion YouTubers and just read their reviews about a specific brand that you want to purchase. And the next way we can, what you can actually do is to go to Google or Pinterest and actually just search out what you want to see. So for our purpose right now, we want to search more about Zara suits. All you have to do is just search Zara suits, look for the images, and you can see that it's really very, very stylish. What you want to take note is you got to look for those images that are, uh, that are more amateurish amateurish so as to avoid uh, potential Photoshop biasness. Anyway, from those pictures, you should have known that you can't really tell the difference between that suit from Zara or any other more expensive designer level suit. Because, to be honest, if your fit is good, it's good, uh, you're not going to be able to tell the difference from afar between a $100 two-piece suit and a $5,000 two-piece suit. Although with the $5,000 two-piece suit, you're going to get very, very good quality. You're going to get extra fabric just in case you grow fat or thinner in future and you can always re-customize them to your fit. But essentially at this age that we're in or at this budget that we're in, a $100 suit from Zara will be perfect as long as the fit does you well. If you want to find out more about how suits should fit you, check out the blog link that I have linked in the description or just click it over here. I've, I've talked about it. This is one of my first few articles when I started out Body Egg Style. To summarize what I just said, high quality materials, horrible fit, horrible image, decent quality materials, perfect fit, near perfection. So the last brand that I really want to talk about is don't laugh, don't be shocked, is actually AliExpress. Now, I know a lot of you out there, you probably have uh, separate opinions about this particular website slash brand. Um, and you may think that brands like H&M or even brands like Cotton On deserve more recognition in this budget range. Uh, but to be honest, check out uh, AliExpress first before you decide to hate them. If you purchased anything from AliExpress and you made sure that their reviews at that particular store is perfect and actually receive your products, you would know that uh, the things from AliExpress are almost as good as brands like Zara or Uniqlo. You just have to make sure that the reviews are perfect. Chances are you're only screwing up your order if you don't read the reviews and just click it crazily without checking through the reviews. Point is, check the reviews. So for those of you that don't know what AliExpress is, it's basically like an online community where there are a lot of stores just like eBay or maybe more towards our websites like Gmarket, sorry, Q10. Um, it's more of a website that stores a lot of uh, different online stores information and basically just displays they are products. You can find a lot of things over there. But the things that we are focusing on today are outfit stuff. So you can get a lot of uh, things like accessories, like your watches if you want to. But to be honest, I'm, I'm not a watch fanatic. So I just make sure that if I want to purchase a watch, I want to ensure that it has functions and it looks minimalistic and attractive at the same time. I have shopped with AliExpress for a while. I've purchased things like suits loafers, and also watches as well. So um, it really depends on what you want. Uh, things are going to be different. Think perspective on AliExpress is very different from each individual. Some people would go crazy and uh, avoid AliExpress because it's from China 
And to be fair, you have your own opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm trying to say is give AliExpress a chance. You're going to find products that may benefit you. All you have to do is take note of one thing and one thing only. Read the reviews. After that, make sure that if you want to buy a shirt or a jacket, the fit must always fit you. Fit you, sorry. So make sure the reviews are perfect before you purchase anything and you're gonna save a lot of money especially when it comes to purchasing things like jackets or shirts or even suit jackets so if you go through aliexpress again you're gonna realize that you can find a lot of things things like watches boots brokes suits pleather jackets and there's a variety of them so just check them out don't hate them until you check them out so let's summarize again Always make sure that you check the reviews out and you can save yourself the scams and the disappointments. Okay, we're gonna end things off right now. Essentially, get the basics from Uniqlo. Grab the layers from either Zara or Uniqlo. Talking about the cashmere sweaters from Uniqlo. And finally, if you want to try it out for yourself, go for the accessories from AliExpress. The watches, the shoes, and even the man bracelets. But this is really up to you. If you like it, take it. If you don't like it, don't wear the bracelets. Don't, don't hate on people that have that kind of preference. Just take note, like I said just now, read the reviews from AliExpress before purchasing anything. I've seen a lot of stores, online stores on AliExpress that have perfect reviews and people are very satisfied with their products. I'm very satisfied with what I've purchased so far because I always read the reviews. So basically with these three brands, all you have to do is just combine the basic principles of having a base layer, layering and accessorizing after that and make sure that you stick to materials that are natural like cotton, wool and other summer friendly materials like linen. These are the kind of things that can help you survive the summer and at the same time you're gonna look very stylish just make sure that you layer properly and keep things minimalistic. Oh wait, what's this? A free checklist for men's staples. <laughs> so essentially this is a free ebook that I've made a couple of months ago and I've always wanted to share this with people out there that have the same interest as me, dressing simple, working out simple as well and forming that James Bond masculine image. Click the link to find out more. Um, I've actually talked about a lot of these brands in this video in the book. You can find a lot of outfits. So we're talking about things like your summer jackets, your winter jackets, your shirts, your t-shirts, your polo tees, and all sorts of stuff. Everything that you can possibly need as a guy to get that masculine, effortless image, all with brand recommendations for cheap stuff all the way to designer level. So again, if you want to find out more, click the link in the description and I will see you guys in the next one.